Welcome back to another edition of Fly Tying with Jim Mishura. Today we're going to tie a baby brown trout. The hook I have in the vise is a curved shank straight eye. This is a size 12. And this is about 3 extra long. I'm going to use black thread and this is 8 aught thread. I'm going to start this behind the eye of the hook. I'm going to bring the thread back to where it would hang at the point of the hook. This fly I designed playing around with the gray ghost. And instead of using feathers, I'm using uh, Puglisi silky fiber for most of the materials. I am going to use some peacock hurl. And uh, that will be it. But it's going to be mostly the silky fibers. Take that back just a little bit more. I'm going to start out by putting the rib on. And here I have a piece of tinsel. It's orange on one side and silver on the other. And it's holographic on both sides. I'm going to tie it in so I can see the orange side. I'm going to tie that in and then I'm going to bring the thread back up forward. And open wraps are fine. I'm going to stop that about one eye length from the eye of the hook. Now I'm going to use orange floss. And this orange floss I have, this just happens to be a four strand, which is fine. But I'm going to... I ran it across my tongue to get it to stay together. going to even out those ends right there. I'm going to tie this in. Just want to catch them. Yeah, bring that thread back maybe one another half of eye length. Then I'm going to wrap this back and then forward again. And you'll see by the time I get to the end, just running my fingers on it, that uh, a little bit of saliva I had on it is going to dry up. You'll be able to see with the color change also when it gets to the second wrap. Then we bring that right to the back and then we're going to bring that forward again. You can see it's getting much thicker on the body. And we're going to tie that off at about one eye length from the eye of the hook. I had about eight inches worth of the floss to do that. Go ahead and trim off that excess. That pretty tight. I'm going to take the tinsel going to wrap on that bare shank. I'm going to go back about four wraps. And then I'm going to bring that forward. And then we're going to palmer that through. When you go to palmer this tinsel through on the floss, you have to make sure that it's pretty tight. And we're going to tie that off at the head. A little bit of zap a gap or very small amounts of uh, super glue right on the top of that would hold that tinsel in there for you. Going to clean up that head. Now I'm going to start with the Piglisi silky fibers and this is white. I'm just going to take a very small amount of it. 
I mean, a very small amount. And we're going to cut that off about a little more than twice the length of the hook shank. We're going to take that, go ahead and straighten this out. Might even want to trim off a couple of the long ones. This side is good because I just cut it. This one I'm going to go ahead and trim off a couple of those long ones there. I'm going to tie this in and I'm going to start out by tying it in on my side. And I want that right on the side. And I want that just a little bit longer than the floss body. I'm going to put a couple of wraps and maybe even them out there the front and the back I'm gonna take this around and bring it around the other side and I took that that silk and I kinda of broke it and broke it in half with the hook eye there we are now we got a nice even body a nice veil of uh, white over the orange floss. I'm going to take yellow silky fiber. I'm just going to take another small amount. This right here. Very small amount. And we're going to tie this in so it stays on the bottom. I'm going to start it on the far side. there and we got that and that would represent the golden pheasant crest of the gray ghost going to take that excess and trim that off now I'm going to take I have peacock eye I'm going to take a few of these like four strands of these Let's see what we got there three four Take about four. If you get five, no big deal. So I got that little hook on there. I'm going to just get rid of those. It's so thin, you're not even going to notice that it's cut. I'm going to tie these on the underside also. But I want them just slightly longer than that yellow. I'm just going to hold them in on the underside. Take that thread and pull it straight up so that it'll stay those fibers will stay right under don't worry about everything being on one side of the hook shank right now when we're done you can just easily take your bodkin needle and divide them <clears throat> put a couple to each side go ahead and trim that off now I'm going to take another uh, the Gleesey sil Silky Fibers, and this is Silver Gray. Th this I'm going to take just a little bit more, probably twice as much as the white. And I want to make sure that these fibers are uh, uneven. And we're going to tie this in on top. We're going to make sure that's about extends a little bit further past the white or about almost twice the length of the hook shank I'm gonna measure this and I'm gonna cut this off before I try tying it in I'm gonna got it cut to length I'm going to tie that in Now I got a fiber in the front there. I'm going to hold everything. I'm going to get my thread out of the way and I'm going to pull my fingers right up there and just use a quick lighter blast and that'll clear that. Now I'm going to take my peacock eye once again. 
and I'm going to take about four fibers off the other end, four to six maybe. And we see, you see we got that natural curve up there. And I want those to be, I want those to be curving around the, uh, the end of the silver gray fibers. I'm going to go ahead and tie them in. And we're going to trim them off. I'm going to go ahead and secure this. Clean that head up a little bit. I'm going to take my scissors, take those, uh, that peacock curl, and kind of do it like a ribbon. Now I'm going to take the Puglisi fiber, silky fibers, and this is sky blue. And I only want a small amount of this, because I'm going to make cheeks with this. I'm going to take this, I'm going to put a cheek on there. You can get it long until you get a couple of wraps on there. And you can pull it down to size. And you want them short. And you can go ahead and give that a couple more wraps to secure it. I'm going to trim this off. And I'm going to use this on the opposite side. I had that one to length already, so I'm just going to trim this off. Now we're going to clean up that head. I'm going to take my whip finish. Go ahead and give that a whip finish and trim that red now put some head cement on there I'm going to use my diamond fine UV resin I've been using it already so there's a little bit on the outside of my tube there I'm just gonna rub that on Go ahead and take that around. Light. Go ahead and give that a blast there. And here we have a little brown trout. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope that you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends, leave comments, questions, suggestions, and most of all, thank you very much for watching my videos.